Morning. Nice and cool today. Actually, I'm lying. It's going to get hot today, but um, not 30 odd. It's going to be like in the 20s, I think, which is uh, which is a lot more normal for UK weather. And fingers crossed, um, we're going to get a little bit of rain as well. So I'll just do everything. Well, it's cool enough this morning, and that's the reason I've come in early to the farm. We're going to shift some cattle in the scan here. It's very breezy. Um, so yeah, Andy's coming in early, and then Em's coming in a bit later. I think my dad's going to the Driffield show. Just getting a bit of time away from the farm, which is nice. So yeah, I'll jump in the base and get this started. If I can get it out, because we've got the truck behind, but I think we can. So we're loaded up. Andy's going to get the straw blower on, get that sorted. When I get back, I've got trail loads of hay to unload. Uh, we've got some cows to get out if it's cool enough. Uh, possibly get some baling done. Oh, mucky windows. And um, yeah, busy as always. So we got back into the yard now. And um, oh, looks like we've got a cow that's escaped. So we'll have to get that back in. <clears throat> Um, I think it's just a bit of a poorly one. Well, not a poorly one, it just keeps getting bullied a little bit. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see what these guys are up to. We'll have a coffee and then we'll uh, we'll start thinking about getting some work done. Morning, Em! Morning, Andy. Morning, Dad. Not happy with the bales that we've been doing? No. There's nothing in them, is there? No. We're just trying some of the uh, ones that we bailed the other day and they're just, yeah, just so, so light. Right, I'm going to make a coffee then while you guys finish up. Yeah. Good oak. Sound like a plan? plan? You look mucky already, Em. It's dust. Dust. Lovely jubbly. Hot coffee time. I don't know if it's like an old wives tale or what, but um, my mum and dad used to say to me, oh, if you have a drink of coffee, it cools you down, you know, because it eats your body up and then makes you want to cool yourself down. So I don't know if anybody else has heard that before, or if it's just like some weird thing in our family. But uh, I can't see it really. Do I have a cold drink to cool me down? I think. What do you think? Andy's like the meerkat. <laughs> Has he seen it? <laughs> like you're like a meerkat, Andy. All right. Looking, looking, what's happening? Oh, Dogs barking, isn't it? Top of the yard barking. We're a rat, I think. Oh, just, no, in the middle of the yard, just stood there like... Mm. Oh, right, well, probably for my dad then. Talking about all the fires that happened yesterday. So in the, near the estate where we were picking the hay up from, um, we thought it was a machine, I thought, when we were looking across um, at the horizon. It's actually somebody's house. Well, a few, a few houses, which it's just a bit... Can you imagine like coming home from work and your house just being on fire, gone? No good, is it? Um, no good. Um, and then near Andy's, the fire that we could see yesterday near Andy's is burnt in front of the pub, did you say? Just a bit, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's the other side of the road, isn't it? Oh. The fire. It's just like the wind, I imagine the dry conditions, the wind. Everything has just done it. Um, Mr. B's. Um, Mr. B's sidekick Bosch has got a video of a drone footage video of um, the fire, which I might get him to send me and then we can put it up on the YouTube, but it's just horrendous. Mm. Um, but on another note, on a lighter note, Em, yeah. do you want to reveal what your mixer mixer picture oh. was yesterday? Because you know, I'm sure people are just on tenterhooks wanting to know what it was. It was an helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> So it wasn't a gigantic fish, or um, I can't remember what the other que what, what the other answers were for it, but um, quite a few people got it right actually. So can't have been that bad then. I thought it was quite decent. Some, somebody said that you ought to do your artwork and then auction it off for charity. Yeah, that's what we could do next time. If we get like if we get a donation for him um, to draw a picture, we'll do it on paper in marker. Mm -hmm. Obviously, put it on mixed mention, and then like we could auction it off on eBay, couldn't we? Yeah. Or you could up a level and go to, um, what's that posh one in London? Oh, like, is it Savills Sav or something? something yeah. Is it, yeah, yeah. You could be like the new banks. At, M could be the banks here farming. That's what it is. <laughs> On the next, um, uh, 
Castle. <laughs> uh, on that note, we're going to get some work done. So these guys have been strawing up with the TM and the spreader bale and also the uh, Teagle, wherever that is. Got some straw in here. These are the bad bales. Only 350 kilos in them. We're just getting some cattle out now. Just while before it gets too hot. Nice and steady. Water, water. I'm going into your foot, but it's on the bottom of my foot, so I can't exactly just like start it. I do a dance, like. Do a line dance, then. Um. Right, so I've just had my dinner. I'm leaving Andy and then um, some milling, a um, bit of cleaning up around the yard, tricking the water troughs, um, taking the hay off the trailers, uh, tidying up around my straw stack down there. In fact, I've got something to show you with that, actually, before I go. Um, but I'm going to get on the baler, because, um, well, it's a bit of a, yeah, a, bit of a crappy one, really. Um, we don't normally do any contracting or anything with our baler, because we're, we're busy enough with doing our own stuff. Um, but I suppose it's just like a farmer's helping farmers thing. Um, unfortunately, somebody's baler caught on fire yesterday. Um, and, yeah, it didn't didn't go well um yeah it's just a bad do all together and the rungs up to see if we'd do some bailing for them which yeah it's one of them things you just gotta try and help people out a little bit so that's what we're doing we're gonna go bailing or i'm gonna go bailing uh, i'm not normally a bailer man either so hopefully i do uh, a good enough job but we'll we'll find out i was saying i was gonna show you something wasn't that before i go so I might not do a fantastic job on this. I will do a good job because I like doing a good job, but I'm not fully experienced on the baler, but I'm sure we'll be all right. Um, but I'm not make as bad a job as what I'm gonna show you right now. So just have a look at the stack. I'll stack that one. I'll stack that one. I did not stack that one. I remember at the weekend, my brother and Andy and um, another lad from Cowgills called Ben did some stacking in here and I don't know if each one's going to blame each other but anyway, whatever, it's come out. We said it was bad and it, it's come out. Um, that's why we don't have anybody walking about down there. So that now means I'm going to have to take one and a half bays of straw out i don't know where i'm going to put them because i've now got a straw stacking way here um to get myself into the back of there to try and restack it and bring it back into a stable um i want to say format but basically a stable stack um yeah what a job great do guys great do previous videos you'll see it was narrower at the bottom than at the top i mean come on it's common sense guys like pyramids build it like a pyramid as much as you can um yeah anyway i gotta fix it another another thing that goes wrong in it draw seals farm just endless failures and going wrongs but we're gonna keep pushing forward um they keep going. It can all be fixed, can't it? It can all be fixed. Right, I'm off. Because we're going to be busy and it might rain, so I'm going. Yeah, it's a very, very bad do. That's the baler. And there's a few fields being set on fire and a few houses. <sighs> right, off we go. And we're baling. So it's my first time this season. Jumping on it. A bit dirty on the outside. So that's beeping to tell us that the knots are tying. So then lollipops that are on the top there show me that the knotters are tying. They should start pulling themselves down. If there's one left up, that means we've got an issue with one of the knotters. Which hopefully we're not gonna have any issues with the knotters, but now in my look, there will be lots of issues. So I'm just going to check these bales, oh yeah they can't get much more in than that. 
it's tight on the springs on the strings I need to say springs then so right we'll keep cracking so this is the view from here those were, were houses sorry sorry state of affairs really nobody was injured luckily South Yorkshire fire service attended and done what they can. It's just sort of the reality of this weather that we've got and you know the farmers are trying to make fire breaks. That's why the fire's stopped here. They've done it to the left hand side, to the right, They've done all they can. So I'll just explain a little bit about what I'm doing and what I'm looking at when I'm bailing um, this crop of barley. So as much as I can, I'm trying to drive down the middle of the swath because if I drive to the left hand side or the right hand side, we can get uneven bales. So there's more straw in one side of the bale than the other side of the bale. And it's not all wavy. It looks wavy on the camera, this screen, but we've got arrows here. So that means it's wanting me to drive just to the right of the swath a little bit because um, that's what we need to do. Also watching the lollipops on the top, like I said before, to make sure when it's beeped, they all pop up. Lollipops and them things. That they've all pop up and they all go down at a similar sort of rate and not, not any of them are stuck back up. Also checking that this doesn't make a long beep because that means we've got an error. Um, I'm looking at the number of flakes that it's put in per bale, so it wants to be around 35 really. The last one was 33, so probably need to slow down a little bit. And checking that that's one to one. If that goes up to like threes, fours, then we need to make some alterations. As I'm driving, I'm looking for bumps in the swath or maybe the combine. If it stops, it'll leave a big wedge. And then I've got to be watching that as it's going into the pickup reel. Normally we have to slow down for them or we can bung everything up and that's not nice. There's also lots of beeps as you can probably hear. There she is the honey. Uh, so I've just jumped out again just to check the bales. They're not great shape to be honest but they've got plenty of tension on them. It's packed in well. They'll be heavy then. They will, but there is just a slight. So this should be straight, but we've got more in the bottom than the top. I'm guessing it's to do with the stuffer setting. Um, but I know when I start, if I start changing stuff, my dad will start moaning. But that's, I'm guessing it's not putting enough in the stuffer when it chucks it up, so it's not getting enough to the top of the bale. Um, would be my guess. So we'd have to tighten the stuffer spring, but don't touch it. There she is. You can see we're in the middle of nowhere. Who comes in graffiti is in the middle of nowhere? Under a tree bush thing. Beats me, anyway. So we're back in the cab now, rocking away. Because of the motion of the baler, it rocks the tractor. Um, just because it's got uneven power delivery. You see that green line? That's the amount of power that the tractor's using. So it's, it's not constant. Because it's got the linear push, push, push of the um, plunger inside the baler. So I'm going to finish this field and then I've got a bigger field across the way there to do and it's all going to be pretty much the same so I think I might end the video somewhere about here um, so if you have liked it please remember to press that like button and subscribe if you're not already because I might well do in this big field inside of us a bit of a live later and if you subscribe you'll get a notification when you'll be able to ask me questions and 
stuff like that, which is what you can do on a life. This is a bit more like um, communication. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, if um, if anybody wants any hats or merchandise, remember that's joeseals.com. And if anybody wants to be on Mixer Mentions, help raise a little bit of money for the Air Ambulance, Yorkshire Air Ambulance. That'd be great. There's a link in the description below. You can get mentioned in the video, or you can get M to draw something, or anything pretty much within reason. Um, as long as you give a little bit of money to the Air Ambulance. Um, what I also wanted to touch on today was didn't get a lot of footage of the fire just because I think it could be a little bit raw for people I don't want to be gawping about something that's happened it's an accident um, different circumstances with the weather being too hot the fire brigade being all over the place like there was a, an emergency state on South Yorkshire um, fire brigade because they had just so much stuff to do that they didn't weren't able to attend the fire as quickly as they would normally um, you know maybe in a different situation it had been put out in the field and no, nobody would have had to lose any of their property um, which I can't even begin to realize what that must be like I mean we had a shed fire and it burned some straw now that's not personal like that's just some of my property, but it's, it's, it's not my house, is it? So my my heart has out to to those people that have um, that have lost property there. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I think what we might do actually when I change when I change um, when we've raised enough money for the the air ambulance, I should change it maybe to to um, South Yorkshire Fire Service, something to do with them. I have to have a little chat with them and see what see what they think might be a good idea but um, yeah because some guys are brilliant um, they, they put their lives on the line every day and they help out everybody in South Yorkshire which is my home county uh, and they've helped me out quite a lot over this last year so I think that's what um, I might change it to if we raise a certain amount of money for the, the air ambulance maybe we'll change we just mentioned to to a different charity which might be something connected to the fire service so yeah what are your thoughts on that anyway before we go and i hope everyone's having um, a great day today and stay positive everyone because um look there's always something to look positive before so. <laughs> sorry i'm trying to be inspirational and that is it don't always come naturally to me but um yeah i just hope everyone's having a great day basically See you later guys, me, Andy and Em, back tomorrow. Bye!